Good morning to my Washington Street family. This is Mr. Terrence coming at you again for our worship moments with Terrence. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. I'm so glad to be talking to you guys this morning. I pray that you had a great week last week, and I pray that you have an even greater week this week. This worship moment today is going to be a little short, but it's also going to be very, very, very powerful. So today we are going to be talking about this right here. So what is this? You know, some people may call this a light, um, and I mean, that's what it is, but this is actually a flash light. So if you're going somewhere that you know is going to be dark, you're probably going to want to have one of these. Um, so usually they have them on all types of phones, but back in the day, they used to have a flashlight and it was about this big and it had a big, big, big light on it. Um, so you can use this maybe if you're going camping and you need to shine some light just to be able to see, or if uh, the power has ever gone out in your house and you needed some light just to see where you were, you would probably use a flashlight. The reason that we are talking about flashlights today is because God wants us to be a spiritual flashlight. Now, of course, we don't actually glow like the light bulbs, but there's a different kind of light that that shows uh, through us. And that's just the light of the Holy Spirit. So God wants us to be a light in the Bible. In Matthew 15, it says that, you know, we should let our light shine so that, you know, people may see our good deeds and and praise the father in heaven. So, you know, not only can you let your light shine through words, but you can also let your light shine through actions, you know. So what does that look like? That means, you know, maybe doing something nice for somebody. That means, you know, reading your Bible, that means praying. And as far as the words, that means, you know, giving somebody a compliment. That means honoring your mom and your dad, listening to your mom and dad when they say something. These are things that you can do just to let your light shine. And so going out this week, I want you guys to let your light shine in the best way that you know how, whether that's just being nice, whether that's doing something nice for somebody, it doesn't matter. I want you guys to let your light shine this week. I pray that this message has blessed you and I hope that you guys have a great week. Love y'all.